Hello guys, it's Sharif here with Engadget. I'm joined by Alex from, from Imagination Technologies. Hello, and we are in the demo room um, in Imagination Technologies HQ in, uh, well, just near London. And we're standing next to, I guess, your trophy wall, Alex. Yes, that's correct. So here we have a selection of phones and tablets. Um, we have a Galaxy Nexus, we have a Motorola Zoom, we have the Playbook, the Kindle Fire. Uh, so this is just to and show the, up there. The, the PS Vita, of course. And it's just to show the devices that we're currently in. This um, rep these are the latest devices here. So, I mean, you're in the iPhone and the iPad and everything. That's your Series 5 um, graphics processor that yeah, you've got in those devices. That's correct. That's the Series 5 XT multiprocessor configuration that you can see um, in these products and also in the PS Vita with an MP4 Plus configuration. So you, I mean, your, your processors, just to explain to people that don't know much about imagination, they, your processors have been part of this move to retina and to, to much higher resolutions in mobile devices. But yes. we're here to um, sort of show that Series 5, but what we have here is one of the very first looks at Series 6, which you call Rogue. Yes, that's correct. We don't have it running in an actual um, like mobile device yet, but, so what are we looking at? So we're currently looking at uh, an FPGA and a test chip configuration where we've included our Rogue 2 cluster chip inside um, an FPGA that's connected via PCI to the um, PC that you can see here. And this is just running a series of OpenGLDS 3.0 demos that we've designed specifically to highlight the features of our new hardware architecture. We've got three demos that we're going to look at very briefly. Yes. So if um, let's rack up the first one. This so. is a, a unique feature um, from our ParVR architecture, which is able to scale up to uh, full hardware 8x MSAA, um, whereas uh, other solutions just typically go up to 4x and then rely on software to uh, go higher. We're actually able to deliver this in hardware um, at 8x, as you can see here. So this and is so 8x will be something new coming with Series 6. Yes, it's um, full hardware 8x um, anti-aliasing. So let's take a look. So we're running at 8x here. This window is showing you what happens with this um, eight times anti-aliasing. And if I just switch over to this one, you can see there are a lot more pixelation, um, jagged edges. Yes, and I'll go that's back. correct. So this is uh, something that our architecture is able to do very efficiently and we've been able to do this before with Series 5 and Series 5 XT but now with Rogue uh, it's much more lower power and it's much more efficient and you can get this in the future devices that will hit the market. This is actually where the PC market is right now. So for mobile consumers and game developers to get this on their mobile device will be something that we really look forward to. Great. Okay, demo number two. Yes. Okay, so this one is called Metropolis. What are we looking at? So we're looking at another uh, new feature in OpenGLS 3.0, which is instancing. So um, the PowerVR uh, architecture is able to do the geometry uh, of this by repeating the multiple buildings that you see here. So the CPU becomes offloaded it doesn't have to actually set up all the uh, buildings separately. It could just, the GPU is able to repeat all of this um, automatically. And it's much more computationally intensive work done on a GPU instead of involving the CPU each time. And again, it saves power, it becomes much more efficient, and it gives game developers uh, an extra oomph factor for the new games that will come up. So this is a classic um, practical example of GPU computes, using the GPU to do more. Uh, we should say that if you do see any sort of um, you know, slower frame rates here, the, the FPGA board is badly throttled, um, isn't it? It's not, it can't show us the exact same performance that we'll see in... Yes, perhaps so with the test chip, because it's implemented on this FPGA configuration, uh, that means that it's about one-tenth of the bandwidth that you would regularly see in a in a regular device. Um, so we're looking here at 10% of what the Rogue uh, products that will end up in um, consumer devices will actually be able to deliver. Okay, so it's really proof of principle. Yes. So one more demo. 
this is leaves, um, which is similar to the metropolis with what you call instancing, the, the repetition of geometries to take to reduce the workload on the on the device. So, how is this different to metropolis? Well, this also involves something called transform feedback, and again, this is uh, to allow the GPU to take all the compute and draw graphics and handle it without the CPU having to interfere each time. So it's about uh, getting as much uh, from the GPU as you can on a, from a battery powered device. Alright, so we'll hopefully be seeing a lot more um, of Rogue at CES. Yes. But this has been a very cool preview. Thank you, Alex. Thank you.